I am Dr. Karmavir Arya from Atalibari Vajpayee Indian Institute of Information Technology and Management, Gwalia. I am associate professor over there. Uh, I work in the area of biometrics, wireless ad hoc networks. In this lecture, I am going to introduce the very concept of the biometrics, what are the biometric systems and how they are being applied in the real life applications. The description of the biometric system, biometrics is a science of identifying or verifying the identity of a person based on the physiological or behavioral characteristic like fingerprint, signature, voice, etc. Biometrics consists of the two parts, the authentication, validating or figuring out the identity of a person based on the password, photograph or some identity card and other part is the authorization where the permission or the approval is given to enter to the system. Authentication, there are three traditional ways of verifying the identity of a person, possession like a key, passport, a smart card, etc., knowledge, a secret, password, pin, phrase, etc., non-secret, user ID, mother's mother name, favorite color, etc. Biometrics, two parts are there, the physiological, the fingerprint, face iris, or behavioral, the way of walking, the way of talking, key, key stock pattern, the way we type on the keyboard, etc. Uh, there are three uh, modes of uh, authentication are sometimes combined, user ID plus password, ATM card plus password, passport plus face fixture, signature. And this uh, uh, figure, we can say that the key is the possession of the IDs or the key. Then we have some knowledge like password or the PIN and these two will be combined together and will be given to the authentication system and then based on that we will establish the identity. Then there are two different authentication methods in the biometrics. The verification where he or she is the person who claims it based on the ID or the biometrics and this is based on the combination mode. Other is the identification where who is this person uses only the biometric search on the entire database. So the information about the person will be given to the database and based on that whichever information match in the database so it will be identified that that is the person who is claiming to be that. As far as the overview of the biometric system is concerned, the biometric identifiers, the physiological face, fingerprint, hand geometry, iris, behavior, signature, voice, DNA, ear shape, order retina, again the physiological, in behavior, gait, the way of walking, key pattern, the way of typing on the keyboard and the lip movement. In uh, biometrics subsystems primarily consist of three subsystems are there, biometric readers which we call as the sensor, feature extractor where the image is uh, uh, represented in terms of the some feature not the entire image and the feature matcher where based on this feature information which we call as the feature vector we will be matching for identification or the verification of the person. So we can see in this diagram like we have a photograph of the person then the biometric reader is there because this, this photo will be captured by the some camera. Then we have the feature extractor which will extract the feature, silent feature from the image and then this feature will be stored into the database. In the authentication, same process will be carried out. We will having the camera or the sensor, then the extraction of the features and this feature set will be matched with the available feature set in the database with the help of the feature measure. A generalized diagram of a biometric system is the ID or the template where we enroll the person and then the similar process will be carried out. Only thing is that we will be having one additional step which is the biometric database uh, will be giving the information to the matcher and based on this will be established the person is accepted or rejected. The design issues in the biometric systems are basic specific biometrics are system accuracy, how often the system accept the imposter which we call as the forced acceptance rate, how often the system rejects the genuine this is called as the false rejection rate the computational speed depending on the application in the real life application the speed should be very high the, uh, the matching time should be very very low failure to use sometimes we are not able to use the system failure to enroll the system is not able to enroll the new uh, person and failure to acquire we are not able to acquire the image or the signature of the person and of course ultimately the system cost so in, as far as the engineering questions are concerned when the biometrics come into the existence are the trusting the people on the biometrics which biometrics the best for the given application how are the error numbers that are reported in the different metric system be interpreted how the new security holes created so we see that whether the new security holes will be created by use of the biometrics another thing is how to achieve the low exception rate because we don't want that there should be any exception. If the genuine is there, it should be reported as genuine. If it is imposter, it should be reported as imposter. It should not be otherwise. And other thing is how to acquire the biometric, how to do it in a convenient way. 
what feature set we should use for the matching purpose we given the input how to extract the feature from it and then how to implement the matching matrix organization of the database methods for searching the database and of course the security and privacy they are the questions which comes in everybody minds when we talk about the implementation of the biometric systems so my biometric system should answer these questions as far as the biometric identification is concerned biometric identification is based on only biometrics credentials we don't need any password or any pin or any phrase to be remembered like we can see in this diagram we have a subject then it uh, subject will be given to the biometric reader then it will be extracting the features which will be given to the biometric matcher and based on the feature available in the database it will be identifying the person is genuine or imposter the biometric identification system can be used in two different modes positive identification authorization of a group of without id and negative identification most wanted list is called as the negative so whether the person is from the most wanted list then we will calling it the negative identification Biometric verification differs from the biometric identification in that the presented biometrics is only compared with the single and all biometric entity which matches the input ID. So I give the ID along with the biometric information and just match. This is uh, called as the one to one matching. The information of the single person from the database will be matched the information which is coming during the identification process through my uh, reader and the extractor. and then matching this we will be saying that whether to accept or the reject biometric verification there are two possible database configurations for that verification the centralized database or the distributed database so depending on my application depending on my cost how i can be and of course my time which i want to spend on verification i can go for any one in centralized we for the entire system will have a centralized database in a distributed each system may have the database attached to it so depending the application we will be talking about it biometric enrollment the process of registering the subject in the biometric because in biometrics identification we always uh, register the genuine users and these will be uh, uh, enrolled in the beginning and then uh, um, so as far as the steps for the enrollment are concerned so first is called as the positive enrollment to create a database to uh, eligible subjects biometric samples of the other credentials are stored in the database which are used later on for the verification purpose then other is the negative enrollment to create the database of the ineligible subjects so i want that uh, these persons should never enter to my system so i will create a list of that and i will be storing their information into the database so that by chance any of these should not enter to the system because they may be the person who are the problem creator and they may create the problem if they get access to the system so we do both type of enrollment so that there is the chances of error are minimized in the biometric system security the possible security concerns are biometric information is presented when the owner is not present and other is hacking the scanner feature extractor matcher database anything because if this is the case if anybody has hacked my database itself or has my scanner itself then it can fool the system because that information could be used uh, for identification of the same person so these are the uh, uh, things which we have to look into so though we are saying the biometrics increases the security of the system but the security of the biometric system itself is very very important so we have to um, take care uh, for providing the security for the system as a whole so as far as the references are concerned for this so one can look into daniel jain and eros the introduction of the biometrics a very good book to start with and another is handbook of the biometrics again by the same author and third one is the handbook of the multimodal biometrics because this is a single model biometrics but we can use the multiple like the fingerprint information face information signature information they could be fused they could be combined to get the better security uh, into the system and also get the better accuracy of the system so we can go for the multimodal so for this this third one is a good reference to start with so thank you very much